Today's question comes from John Cormeau. How can you tell if hot flashes are hormonal, acidosis, or Lyme co-infection issues? John, that is such a great question. And it is honestly very hard to tell many times where the sources of hot flashes are coming from within your body. And honestly, what I recommend is to test and not guess. And to also set up appointments with the sorted clinicians that might be working with you in hormones or maybe your primary care provider that's working with you with Lyme, but to ensure that we evaluate the body's metrics in a whole assortment of things. So I'm going to recommend a few tests that you might want to um, have run. The first, if you're not sure if it's hormonal, let's identify your hormone, a full hormone panel. And that involves assessing your reproductive hormones. And for men and women, this includes estrogen, testosterone, and progesterone. Many men think that they might not be producing estrogen and progesterone. And in fact, they are just not at the levels like women and their cycles are very different, but you are testing that. And sometimes men will present with elevations in estrogen. And there are three types of estrogens that we want to test. So those are some things to consider um, that might be behind hot flashes. Another value to have tested is your thyroid, a full thyroid panel. Let's rule out Hashimoto's because your thyroid gland, if it is in a hypo state, that can cause you to feel cold and hot in different parts of your body. So you might have cold hands and feet, but you might be feeling really hot in the torso. So if you're feeling like a torso hot flash, it might be thyroid related. Another value to um, address is C-reactive protein. This is just a really good biomarker of any inflammatory state within the body. That helps us understand, are we dealing with maybe an infection or are we dealing with any type of underlying uh, disease or inflammatory state that we need to address? And sometimes C-reactive protein is is run by cardiologists because it's often a, a biomarker for heart disease, um, but it can be also a marker of inflammation in a knee or arthritis or Lyme, uh, a Lyme scenario. So get that value for sure. And then another hormone panel to have run is to test your cortisol saliva, at least you have four, as we call it a diurnal cortisol level. Some clinicians are running this and clinicians like myself, we do a lot of tests where you can order them online, have them shipped to your um, home, and then you can run the, the labs and mail them out to the lab and they actually provide you results very quickly. Cortisol is one of these things where cortisol imbalances can lead to hot flashes and night sweats. And so that can be also an underlying factor for thyroid imbalance, for hormone imbalance. So evaluating your cortisol in the morning, at lunch, at dinner, and right before bed is a really good way to evaluate your circadian rhythm. That's the rhythm of, of your natural waking, you kind of at your highest energy cortisol point, and then you should be dipping and slowly going to your lowest point at night. A lot of folks, when we test cortisol, it doesn't work out that way. And that's okay. It's just the sign that your body's stress uh, response mechanism is heightened. And often that is heightened due to underlying physiological biochemical imbalances, an infection, a flare. So identifying that source is really critical. Now, when it comes to acidosis, um, labs, kidney values, liver values, enzyme values, and also um, running a urinalysis will be helpful. I also, if you're not sure if it's acidosis and we might be dealing with some underlying diabetes or insulin resistance, let's make sure you're testing your glucose every day. And know that when you test your glucose, so that's your blood sugar value, when you test in the morning, that's ideally going to be your highest peak. But if your cortisol is imbalanced, your insulin or your insulin and your blood sugar levels are going to mirror the cortisol spikes. So it's not uncommon for folks to test their, their blood sugar levels throughout the day and get all sorts of random numbers, sometimes really high, sometimes moderate levels or normal levels. You, it's best to test several times throughout the day, ideally in the morning, right around mid, mid afternoon, right before dinner and right before bed, that'll match up with your cortisol values. And then you can identify if cortisol is driving your blood sugar imbalances that might be leading to hot flashes or uh, kind of a heat experience, 
or if there's something else going on. So I like to use our labs to rule out things as well. Now with Lyme, this is a whole another um, ball game when it comes to evaluations, uh, evaluating Lyme and testing. One of the things that I found in referring patients to specific Lyme specialties is to identify uh, do to identify if there's a spirochete, any type of bacteria present in the blood, um, identify and evaluate by live blood cell analysis. That's a little different than the um, kind of standard testing that we see. And even then, some testing resources are not as comprehensive as they need to be. If it is Lyme and we've identified that, then there's a possibility that the Lyme could be impacting the cortisol. It could be impacting the reproductive hormones. So make sure you do a full analysis and don't rely on Dr. Google, really get the evaluation of where your body stands and then retest in six months. Do whatever you need to do, take the measures to work whatever protocol is provided for you. And definitely if you need any resources, I'd love to help. Don't hesitate, John, to contact me if you need any additional resources or you want to review your labs. I do that with a lot of patients where they'll book a 30 minute appointment and we'll review the lab results. Um, and that can be very helpful. One of the really exciting things that uh, we have here at Organics and my partnership with Organics is I'm offering all Organics consumers and customers a special discount to schedule an appointment with me. So there will be information on how to access this special discount. And John, for any you or anybody else that wants me to review your labs, I'd love to do that. We can put together a very personalized, very tailored specific protocol to meet your needs and really address the hot flashes and identify where are they coming from? Because identification, utilization of labs and putting together a very specific comprehensive plan is really the true path to healing. So thanks, John, for asking that question. I hope that's been helpful and I look forward to hopefully working with you soon.